Hi, welcome back to Thomas Turner Fishing Antiques. I'm John Stevenson. And I'm Kirsty Hewitt. And we're looking at some very budget reels today that, as a new collector, what you is, <laughs> um, we're, we're going to have a look at what you think you would collect, with the exception of the Jelly Baby. The Jelly okay. Baby is for the winner at the end of this. Is that a free gift? That's a free gift, okay. okay. So if you were starting collecting and you went to an antiques fair or something, what would attract you to you say, that's great, I'm going to start collecting fishing reels? I would immediately go for the pretty one, that one. Right. But I'm not sure why. The shiny bit. Yeah. So you're a magpie shiny collector. And the pattern, yeah, exactly. And the pattern, yeah. This is actually quite old. How old do you think that is? 100 years? You're right. It's about 100 years old. These are uh, an American bass fly reel, and these come in various states and various colours, various sizes, and various finishes. But the rare one on the table is not. The hardy, okay. because somebody's rebuilt the faceplate, so that's wrong. So whilst that looks right, it's wrong. This is a German reel, which we were given because the chap said it's got a pillar missing out of it. It hasn't because that's the design. Right. But the rare one is the boring one in the middle, which is that. Oh. This is an American reel by the Bush Kill uh, Reel Company, engraved on the back here. I looked at this and immediately dismissed it and thought it had the same value as this, about twenty pounds. But it doesn't. Made in 1946. A chap called uh, Harry McVicker and his son Kane started a company after the war in aircraft products and designed and made these reels. They're fascinating. Lots of ball bearings inside. Great detail. Not a bad reel. They're not the best thing ever. They don't look aesthetically pleasing as that. No. And I think if I had a shelf, I'd rather collect them. But value? If you get near, you can have the jelly baby. If you don't get it, you can't have it. Ooh. £200? Oh, you've been, you've been spying on the notes. <laughs> There's no way you guessed that. No way. £200 <laughs> <laughs> £200 is about right for me, for me to <laughs> get off. £200 is about bang on for this. Two to two fifty. £300 if you like, if it doesn't have any staining on the front, although that may come off. But that wasn't a bad deal. You you picked the right value for the oh, wrong reel, and win. you got a jelly baby. And what about this one? How much is that worth? That's probably worth about thirty to forty pounds. Oh really? Oh, I'll have that one. Then. Yeah, but and the jelly baby. <laughs> oh, I was going to say gives the jelly baby, but <laughs> but uh, I think you're right. You know, if you're a, a die-hard collector, you put them on a row. They're just going to yeah. look like black round circles. These are fascinating things. Um, they're never going to be worth a fortune, but it's not about that. Sometimes is it? It's mm. just about to look at it and enjoy it. And, some of these are on the website, even the broken ones on the website, because there is some interest in damage repaired and quirky looking stuff at a fraction of the original retail price. So check back later. We'll get some more videos on some other stuff. We're going to replenish a whole row of jelly babies here. And we've got uh, some interesting characters to come and chat to later on this afternoon. So we'll catch you later. I think you should take that off and put it in the shelf. Thank you. Eat that. your jelly baby. I can't <laughs> believe you've done that to me. That's my last one. <laughs>